completely different. You, you're right. Let's just call it. Mm. Some religious leaders in this country are washed wash people. And you can see it. People talk about, I... How is it possible that this and this... This one. Yeah. You know, from from how they behave, how they operate, the kind of, you know, stuff how that they, they post, how, how they, they live. live. Yes. Yeah. You know, the kind of lifestyle that they're leading and you're wondering... Something is not adding up here at all. Where mm. is all this coming from? Mm. Mm. I remember the story that our Mishima Songkok talked about what happened in the temple. Mm. Buying and selling. Mm. What do you think was the real issue there? Because it isn't as though on the day Jesus was there is when they were buying and selling. That had been going on for some oh, time. Yeah. And what did he say about it? You've turned my father's house. What had they turned it into? Mm. A den of thieves. Mm. Yeah, so, you think wash wash, we invented it. It was there then. They, they have some of them were actually selling the animals that have been brought as sacrifice. <laughs> they are no, auctioning them. There wasn't anything they were not doing which could not be considered adverse. You see, the, it brings us back to what it is that faith or religion, or let's talk about Christianity does. You see, the, the understanding is that on our own as human beings, we are limited. Mm -hmm. And because we are limited, there is a need for divine intervention. Mm -hmm. You see, the Christian faith is very logical. But then, again, it's a paradox. But then, the faith also goes beyond logic. Yeah. Mm. And that's why it's faith. So, people who subscribe are people who have a belief and a hope in something you actually can't touch ordinarily, but something you can live and experience and has a reality. However, yeah. yes. however, we need to build a structure yes. around faith and religion. You leave it loose, then... It becomes too fluid. You, you get shakahola. Mm -hmm. you, 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 it becomes too fluid. Let mm. me give you the context of England, where now I live. Do you know, I haven't been licensed yet to serve in the church seven months later. Mm. Why? By law, I should do say, three safeguarding trainings. Mm -hmm. I have done two online, but because I'm a senior clergy, I must do the third one. You know the church in, in, in generally in the West has suffered because of uh, case litigations, uh, because of the children molestations, yeah. people uh, adults uh, who are vulnerable being yeah. taken advantage of, yeah. and the church almost went bankrupt. Mm. Even my boss had to stand one time on uh, in court and, sh and and broke down when he was told about the evil that is in the church. Mm -hmm. mm. So today in England, you don't just rush with a collar somewhere and you start preaching or handling people. <laughs> mm. You can't by law. So Muga, Muga I hear you when you talk about faith that is not tangible. That's your thing. Mm. That's what you believe. Uh, no, that's uh, what I know. Uh, uh, yes. However, as the government, what do I know? Or the church. The church in England has also established its own legal mechanisms to weed out clergy that are not fit to be in, in public. And let me tell you, if you're blacklisted in the UK, mm. you can't serve anywhere. Do you know I haven't preached in the UK at all? It's until April until when, I, you get your... when I will do the uh, licensing, the, the, safe, the third safeguarding at senior level yep. in April, then now the, the, the Diocese of London will license me. Look, there is freedom to enjoy faith, that which you call something I can't really explain. All right. However, because your personal faith affects mine, you need to protect. I need to protect myself from your faith. Yeah. Because it may not be the right faith. So faith then becomes quite individual, and people keep talking. Oh, faith in, in, in amongst the Wazungus is too private. Yes. Why? Mine can affect you. So I can't play music in a block of flats in the name of I'm a Christian. The law, oh, the police will be there. And there is law that actually will deal with me. So the scaffoldings around faith is very, very important. Mm. Otherwise faith, and you see, and we can talk openly about Islam and what fundamental Islam has done. Mm. Fundamental Christianity will do the same. It's evil. Mm. 
and it must be within a law that controls it. And that's why I feel the government has still a very big role to structure religion. Is it the government or is it the church itself? Both, both, both. Who guides the other? Mm. No, first of all, there are national laws. Like in England, there are national laws. They say this is the guideline in which the church must operate. Then the church now develops policies that, uh, uh, policies that uh, uh, implement uh, the law or mm. the act. So both do that, but at the national level, it must be done. Then the church, when matters go to court, the church will be asked, when somebody came and told you they were sexually molested, you see, like in the UK, mm. if somebody came and told me they were sexually molested in church, do you know the first thing I'll tell them? Mm. On this one, I'll not guarantee you confidentiality. Kindly give me your contact because you need help. And I'm going to contact a safeguarding officer mm -hmm. who will now take over from there. In Kenya, we talk of counseling. But somebody has been molested. Yeah. And that's how people get uh, into a lot of problems in African countries or what you'd call the, um, the third world. In the name of counseling, even people get into deeper mm. problems. problems. So you can see there are structures within the church but also the laws that also protect religion. This government, sorry, unfortunately, it makes it look, oh, we are in a free country, we should enjoy uh, no regulation. So this is actually becoming chaotic. Unfortunately, they become beneficiaries of that chaos. There's still the overarching Im a feeling in many quarters that the church ought to do church business and the state ought to do state business. However, we still see often, um, and you know, with, it, with, 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 good, with good reason, that these lines cross. Oftentimes it's difficult to ask, or rather to see what that relationship actually should be. What should it be? What well, should the relationship between church and state be? We've asked it over and over again, and we still don't seem to be able to see it. Well, for right. me, uh, I did it practically. I dealt with the state like I, uh, uh, like fire. Mm. I wasn't far from it. Mm. I wasn't close to it. You, I must, as a, as a priest, I must be safe enough to tell you, I don't think what you're doing is wrong. That's right. And, and, and do if you look at my engagement with the government for the years I've done, I'm always on the side of the downtrodden, mm. the poor. I, I'm always asking, why would you leave that kind of life up there? Like I was looking at the police on Sunday in the cathedral, mm. seated there. They look poor. They look needy. They are not even sure about their medical insurances. They are not sure about... There are many things. You can read it. Yep. Then on the opposite, you have now the bosses, the politicians. They look opulently. <laughs> why should we have such disparities? And so, while it is true, there will be crossing. That will always happen. Mm -hmm. In the UK, it happens. There's a lot of interaction. However, the government is able to challenge the church and the church is able... So safe spacing is important. It's important. You cannot be one. We are not one with government. Mm -hmm. And it, unfortunately here, the church seems to be in bed with the, with the government. 30 seconds, Karen, as you uh, exit. If you were... <coughs> would you like to meet... President William Ruto, one on one, like you did with Oh, I'd love to. Uh, what would you tell seriously? him? Seriously. What would you tell him? I would ask you, are you a brother in Christ? He'd tell you, yes, I am. Tell, show me what you have done as a Christian. Demonstrate to me. Why are you overtaxing Kenyans? Why is corruption not your biggest challenge? Don't you see the wastage? How much would the wasted money be in terms of education? and in terms of healthcare, Those two things that affect the poor Mwananji. Reverend Canon Dr. Samuel Inaina, advisor on Anglican Communion Affairs. Keep it here for more, 9 a.m.